Hi, I'm Farmer Brad and I'm in the high tunnel. The next step, install some irrigation. Now, I already had this header pipe. It's a lay flat pipe, uh, two inches in diameter. And what I'm gonna do is right behind here is where the water tower is gonna be. So the water tower will gravity feed down here, but I wanna leave this door open so I can drive my tractor up and down. So what I'm gonna do is run this two inch pipe all the way down to the end of the high tunnel. I'll do a 90 and then I'll run <coughs> three quarter inch hose across the end and then that will end up feeding the uh, drip tape. Now I wanna to bring to your attention a company named Dripworks. They specialize in irrigation, drip tapes, small and large. And they were kind enough to donate uh, 500 feet of three quarter inch poly pipe and that will run from the ramp pump to the water tower. They also included a medium size irrigation system for a high tunnel that I'll be using in uh, the next couple videos. Uh, but today's goal is getting this hooked up to the garden hose initially and then eventually this two inch will connect to uh, the water tower. This will at least get the irrigation system up and running and then uh, I'll take you along for the rest of the things. So make sure to check out dripworks.com for all of your irrigation needs and uh, definitely wanted to thank them for their sponsorship of these irrigation videos. Uh, so without further ado, I'll go ahead and start the, the process. Okay, so the first thing I'll do is I'll put this 90 degree on and what eventually this will happen is it will go vertical up to the water tower. But at least for now, I'll uh, just run a short little section of hose and then I'll be able to connect, connect it onto here. I'll just cut a section here. And then make sure to put on one of those clamps. If it is a really snug fit, you can take a, uh, a torch and uh, heat it up to stretch it. So then I'll cut another little section here. And then lastly, another hose clamp and this right here. Okay, so I'm gonna tighten up this hose clamp. Okay, so that's on there. I'll go ahead and hook up the garden hose. So I'm using the same garden hose adapter that I use for the uh, automatic chicken water buckets. And just as a safety measure, I'll put Teflon tape on this part. Then I'll take my channel locks, channel locks, and uh, tighten it up as tight as I can. Okay. Now I'm gonna move this back into position where it will need to be up against there. Now let's go to the other end. So 
So I'm gonna find a spot over here, probably like right about there, to uh, tie this in. Put that on there. Before I got any further, I wanted to go over the medium size irrigation system for high tunnel so it includes I think a hundred feet of half inch uh, poly pipe and this is what I'll use to feed the drip tape well it has a uh, filter here it has where you can uh, splice into here to run the drip tape it has spikes for keeping the irrigation in place. Let's see. Oh, these are for tying off uh, the ends of the drip tape. So you can um, terminate them by just flipping them over in half and then these are little plastic pieces that slide over the end. And then here are some pressure regulators uh, to decrease the pressure from uh, pressure regulator down to 10 PSI so you don't overblow your system. Here's a little puncture tool for puncturing the holes in this to connect these little parts. And then there's also some uh, repair kits where if there's a hole you can cut the, uh, the leaking area and then splice the two parts together. Uh, so that's pretty much what is included in the system. Uh, they also, which I'm really excited about this, Dripworks uh, provide me with a Bluetooth hose end irrigation controller. So this you'll be able to control via Bluetooth, uh, set the schedules uh, as long as you're within range of Bluetooth. Um, so that will be really awesome. Uh, so then I can set uh, timing for watering and the such. So unfortunately I don't have another clamp uh, so I'm just going to try to terminate this by doing the full back method and some Gorilla Tape. And yeah, point these areas back. There we go. So that should terminate that. that will do the trick for that. Now here I'm going to unscrew this and have it go from three quarter inch down to half an inch. Okay so now I'm gonna heat this up a little bit. And slide it on there. And then I'll do the same thing with here. Okay. Now I have another clamp. And then just like this one on. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna connect this first over here. Okay, heat this up. tight. I'll go ahead and take some of these to 
help keep it straight. Okay, so to terminate this end, what I'll do is I'll cut this off. And I'll flip it back. So because this hose is pretty tight, I'm going to just use this clamp here to uh, fold this over. This is where the video is going to have to end. I wasn't able to get any further because there was a storm coming in. So look forward to irrigation part two in an upcoming video. Thanks for watching.